Working on the task of project which were about integration problem in Europaji, we use our chance to visit a reception center for asylum seekers in Montenegro, because it's located in our region about 20 km from Europaji. Few students who went there say that they like that there are lots of options, different options, library, sport gym, computer rooms, chance to go to Riga, uh, go to go to your friends. One of the greatest reasons to think more was about their daily money that uh, they get only lat 50 for a day. For that money they need to buy clothes, some food or something more. But if you wish for a better life then even lat 50 is satisfying. Uh, they are the same as we are and they, they have only maybe different uh, skin color, different language or different nationality, but they, are, they also want to live how they want. I think that their living style uh, wasn't so bad as I thought at the beginning. When I saw uh, how they live there, their everyday activities, uh, although they are not many, um, I think they live there quite well. And I think that's cool. Yeah, well, they had their free time, so they didn't have the, the certain things that they should do. Like uh, like in school, we have lessons. They have uh, lessons for Latvian uh, language, but they can choose if they want to do it or if they don't want to do it. And their Latvian lessons, I think, were two times a week only. One time. One time. And then... The rest of the day they were free, they can do whatever they want. And on me stay their gym was, I think it was, uh, <laughs> it was very, very good. Um, comparing with our school gym, it was, wow, <laughs> something, something, yes. Yeah, it was bigger and there were lots more yeah. things to do in their gym. And also the halls, they were big. And the rooms, of, co of course, the rooms that they need to sleep, they were small, but it's, it's, not, it's normal, I think. Mm -hmm. They were pretty good for their... And they can get bored, I believe, if they know how to use the internet. Should be having fun out there. Yeah, but they, if they want to have fun, they can go out. And that too, so. of course, yes. And they can, can go to the toy room and, <laughs> and other, other places. <coughs> and yes, so what was interesting for me that all of those people was uh, financially unstable because uh, some of them uh, have sold their property in the main country where they have lived and they was having uh, have, um, their own um, finances. Well, they understand that the uh, 150 is definitely not enough in, the, in Latvia. So yeah. if you want to go somewhere to um, some, to some uh, uh, yes, to go to city you need to uh, maybe not eat today too much for the... Or maybe not eat at all. <laughs> yes, and saving money for the street. So, um, yes. What is it? Is there a bus that goes from Montenegro to Riga? Yes, there is. But this is there were the one that the, the school, the little children that need to go to school, that, that bus. Uh, and does it cost much no. for them? It was it's free. free. It's free. It's free. They okay. had this car. Did you want to go you, you to not to this uh, school bus? You need to pay for money. And then pay you for have money. It wasn't the school bus, it was uh, a special It was the community, the public, uh, public bus, so... They can work, but they can't earn money Yeah, it. that's so also... They could try legally, and nobody's trying to check up on it. They said that they need, they understand that the, the money they have in the day it's not enough for them. So they understand if they want to find a job, but it's not legally for them to work. Yes. So unless it's something very shady, they're not controlling the. 
a, about the same. Actually, it's more free than an army, but I think it's the same thing that you have this place to sleep, you have this place to cook and uh, to play with your children or go to gym or use the computer, but it's not your home. But it's not that free. People. You need to say about what you are doing to, about every your step. Yeah, you need to, like, need to, uh, but still, it's the best place where to live when the time. Yeah, if you out. have that time, it's yeah, it's best. It's the best place if you have this thing you, you need to go and run away from your country. Yeah, it's the best thing you have. Well, you know, children who children who grow are uh, growing up from in these shelters, and uh, their parents are constantly moving between between them in different countries. Uh, they could consider it being a home, a new home every time they move. And uh, how long they stay on the shelter? I think two, nine, nine, nine months. Nine months were maximum. Four, five, four months. No, nine. Nine, nine? months nine? Was, two was maximum. Oh, well, well, it was up to nine months. Yes. There were cases of a uh, full year and yes. one yes. month passed, but it's yes. rare. Yeah. Yeah, mostly they move on to another country.